Okay, so hey everyone. Um, this is the Power Food Podcast episode two. Um, bringing you some more random banter about video games. Um, I'm Jedi Pointer. Random pause. So no one knows. I'm Lama King. I'm always dancing. And I'm Arcoid. Okay, so that's everyone. The same crew as last week, two weeks ago, <laughs> last episode. No guests yet. The guests. No one loves us. We keep asking, but we keep we never asking. <laughs> we ask anyone. We need yeah. a celebrity guest. Yeah, yeah, like cool. like painkiller. <laughs> get porn stars on there. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was fucking awesome. I listened to that one. That was cool. Um, yeah. Some of them D listers. <laughs> no man, I, I want a fucking E lister. There you go. E lister. Do we have any local celebrities we could get? Uh, Rambling Dave. <laughs> Is that sad that we're the only people who are going to get that joke? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just put it on Seth hey. or something. <laughs> hey, I actually know, um, fuck, TSM broadcaster, no. Uh, Jeff Rodstein. No, it's son of Adam Morrison. Ray Morrison? Ray Morrison. Get him. Ray Morrison. Ray Morrison. Oh, yeah. Alan's dad. Alan. Alan's dad. Oh wait. So no. His, his no. Dad. No. Here's this is dad. Adam no. Morrison. Yeah, right. I have. I have played yeah, soccer right. with his son. Not soccer, hockey. And yeah, so we can pull some strings. But yeah. Okay. Well, screw this. This is just random banter. We don't need to really talk about. We'll save about. that for later. I'm so uh, confused. <laughs> first thing on the agenda. Well, what did we play this week? Um. Uh, All at once. League of Legends, oh, Team yeah, Fortress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> Kidding. I haven't never played though. Wait, are you talking about Team Fortress Two or League of Legends? League of Legends. Oh. I was like, well, for that rude, Team Fortress 2, rude right? comment, Lama King should go first. Okay. Uh, I played Uncharted Two again, and I finally beat it. And I just been playing again with the uh, tweets, wasting time. Which tweets? tweets? Yeah, what kind of tweets you gonna play, man? Infinite ammo. Oh, so you cheat. <laughs> yes. They're cheats, but Some you have to work towards to get these. You get, it? you get these cheats by grabbing the treasures in the game and by doing other trophy activities in the game. Oh, cool. So by do, kind of doing achievements, they have a s secondary kind of achievement system within the game, which is getting your points. So once you beat the game on a difficulty, you can play again on that difficulty and be able to use cheats. That you buy with the beef so points. unlockable. Cheese. So it's yeah. like, so it's like a new game plus kind of deal. <laughs> My favorite yeah. is Donut Drake. Yes. It's just the skin of the main character, and he's really, really fat. <laughs> That's oh. all it is. He just like gains so like two hundred pounds, and he can still do all this ridiculous climbing. And there's especially a part of the beginning of the game where he falls and something breaks underneath his weight, and you have to come and no more donuts for you. That works perfectly for that skin. <laughs> Uh, you played? That's all I played. I just beat it. What a loser! Well, I had a bit of difficulty <laughs> on the hand <laughs> boss. Uncharted can, can, two. Can you play something else? Not Uncharted. I mean, that's maybe we should ask what he watched this week. <laughs> I didn't watch anything actually. What? I had a busy week. Yeah, of watching video games. Ne you want no. talk about. Next week though, I will be playing the DLC of Dragon Age two. Good choice. The I might. DLC. I do have. Microsoft points. Yeah, but you you can buy bat you can buy Bastion. I have yeah. Microsoft points Bastion. too, which I'm saving for the Mass Effect Two DLC, which I'm saving for the end of the summer. Hmm. And that's what? gonna be one of the last things I play. Which one is that? Arrival, the oh, final one. Is. And I also still have to beat, which I'm saving I for any of the Mass Effect Two DLC yet. Yeah. At no least mass effect <laughs> not all of them were good, but definitely get the Shadow Broker one. Yes. That is very good. I bought them all, I just haven't played them. Okay. Oh, fuck. I have not <laughs> bought them all. No, I'm smart about my money. <laughs> oh, I know I'm going to play them. But, yeah. in other games that I will be playing around the end, also in August, I'm going to see how far I can get back into Red Dead Redemption. I have never actually beat it it's very yet. Good. I paused. It's very good, but... I just, when I was playing it, I got hit by finals the year it came out, and I never went back to it. 
I, I, I never get into Red Dead Redemption. I don't know why. I, I, I'm just not one for Wild West. It's it's stuff. Only, I really like my westerns. I'm going to get back into it because I also have on DVD the Man with No Name trilogy, so I will be watching those and playing Red Dead Redemption at the same time. I'll come here the same I swear time. to God if you show up to one of these wearing a cowboy hat. I do not have a cowboy hat. What? You can go buy one. You can go buy one. We sell them a dollar, really. <laughs> get yeah, one yeah, those things don't even bend, though. Get them a nice, cowboy, get them a nice set of cowboy boots? No. No. And a little pony? No. Right. And if I'm going to get a hat, I'm going to get Indiana Jones' hat. Good I'm, choice. What? I'm one of those types. Love Indiana Jones. I'm just going to get one of those ones with the propeller on the top. Bean? Yes. Big bean? You're a beaner. Which is why I like Uncharted beaner. 2. It's Indiana Jones, and you get those moments. My favorite moment so far in the game he doesn't was. Have a satchel. He's he doesn't have a satchel. No, no. He's got a little <laughs> pouch on the don't side don't start so for his early. journal. But my <laughs> moment that was basically Indiana, jo Indiana Jones like was hiding behind cover while a guy comes with a minigun and starts shooting at me. And I had a guy climb up and start kicking me in the face, and I had to punch out this guy as the guy with the minigun started slowly shooting towards me, and I had to kill this guy before he got towards me. And that was just just kind of how like Indiana Jones works, where he's grappling with the guy, and he's getting closer and closer to the propellers of the... Uh, in the first movie? Yeah. Indiana Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Have you even seen Indiana Jones? Raiders of the Lost Ark. How have I not seen Indiana Jones? The old ones? I've seen the new one. Okay, well, mm -hmm. the new one's terrible. Like, new new is is the new terrible. one's not that bad. People get pissed off, but really it's... it's well, it's definitely not up to what the old ones It's not up to the be. first three, but it's still a it's good just that it's unreal, I like it There's yeah. unreal expectations. I don't mind it. I haven't seen it again, but... I think they could have went a little bit further and given Shia LaBeouf's character an actually normal name. <laughs> you should have made Indiana Jones a spaceship. I don't know, they had aliens in it. I think it's sci-fi enough. For Indiana Jones. I'm just saying they push a bad Indiana Jones for a fucking spaceship. Well, they did have a spaceship. Weren't they making an Indiana Jones game? Yeah, it's pretty sure they had also. an Indiana Jones game. Mm -hmm. They had a big Indiana Jones game that was supposed to use, like, Euphoria, which is the same, like, physics yeah. system. Yeah, whatever happened to that one? They got Lego. cancelled. They got Lego Indiana Jones. I do love that game. Lego though. Indiana Jones mm -hmm. 1 and 2 now. I'm the gonna second get, one. I, I'm gonna get the second one. I love that game. I, I, don't know I found it really boring, but I did beat Kung Fu Panda and I don't um, It's better if you play your own music in the background. Because it's a very quiet game, that just, like, nothing interesting happens. So, like... Indiana Jones, Deathcore Metal. Here I'm we just, go. I don't understand how big fan of like Indiana Jones. Like, like they're, they're playing well, as a video game, I can enjoy watching the movies. It just just playing Lego Indiana Jones didn't interest me at yeah, all. Yeah, the Lego ones are no fun by yourself too. So what? Well, yeah. I, I mean that's not true. I like the Lego Star Wars games. Star Wars those yeah, those are Star Wars I, under there. I need to try a Lego game. I've never played a Lego game. I don't Lego Batman. I, I think he's Batman. Maybe we can get a Lego Western. <laughs> Let's go Lego Indiana Jones. It's not a Western. Western. It's, it's, a Western. it's Pulp Fiction. Can, close enough. No. He's got a hat. Yeah, he's got a hat. I mean, it's a Western. Pulp Fiction? No, it's a Western. It's not a Western. He's wearing a hat. It's a classic adventure Pulp Fiction. Define Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction was from like the 30s. It's <laughs> 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 well hard. You're really going to ask us a question. a bunch of short stories that be in like little magazines. It'd be the, it's the closest thing they had to comics. So, it, yeah, so it's basically a comic. But, but these words. were stories. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up? This is where you get this the stories of Conan the Barbarian stuff from. Don't. That's interesting. <laughs> that, that game is good though. I've never tried it. Conan games are actually decent. I'm fun. not a big fan of me came and me smashed. Uh, there's an MMO and it there's a hack and slash. It yeah. just turned free as well. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just waiting for Guild Wars 2 to come out. They're also the. The guys who made the Conan MMO are making a new one called The Secret World, which looks like it could be promising, but it looks like what it's supposed to have the supernatural theme to it, but it looks like it's just going to get ruined with when you're trying to do raids. No. You're just supposed to be scared, but then it's you with a tank and some guy healing you the entire time, fighting zombies. Yeah. Wait, what did you just... It's when you're trying to do what? Heal and tank and... Nope, uh, when you're in the middle of doing what? Did you say uh, raids? No yeah, raids. Oh, I heard rapes. <laughs> yeah. Get your mind out of the gutter. I like it in the gutter. Anyways. 
Then what did you play? You don't know what I play? I've kind of been at my friend's house for the last little while. You played Black Ops. <laughs> I played. I played lots of Black Ops multiplayer. Lots of beer pong. Screw that game. I only <laughs> played two games of beer pong. Still no, counts. three. Eh, three or so. Um, that was sick of Rockstar ping pong. I like a beer pong game. Pong. You are the worst fucking person to a podcast with no right? You know what? I'm trying to help. What did you do this week? Oh, you did this. You did this. Why don't you just do it for me? Yeah, <laughs> you know what he does. <laughs> Who rocks out, Look at this. Just go off to different tangents. Can I move your mouth and make your voice too? <laughs> Sorry. Wouldn't matter. No one can see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moron. Yeah, so I play Black Ops multiplayer, whatever. It's still the same old Black Ops multiplayer. Nothing really too exciting to talk about. Um. I was playing through Pokemon Black past couple days. I'm a huge Pokemon nerd, um, like really big. Played every every generation. Done probably over 200 hours in every every generation, except for the new one. It was kind of boring me. So, but my sister's like beat the Elite Four, so I was like, hmm, try and catch up to her. And it's really flipping easy. Mm. I beat three badges in two days, and I haven't got hit by any of the guy like once it was just kind of like sit on my main guy one I one hit KO all three guys beat him move forward same thing was sounds oh. easy way too easy hopefully it gets harder I mean that's what I've heard that Elite Four is decent and difficult but we'll see um so yeah that was kind of a disappointment it's beautiful but kind of a disappointment um yeah uh played Way of the Samurai 3 pretty much what that game is it's like a sandbox samurai game where you can kill everyone. It's pretty much just like a Grand Theft Auto version of, except with samurais. Right? Yeah, pretty Aren't you much. Aren't not yeah. supposed to kill everyone, though? You're not supposed to, but you can. Yeah. Well, it's good to I watch Byron play. It's good to have that kill people. Yeah, I've, I uh, killed a, a clown leader because I didn't, yeah, just because I felt like it. Well, it's good to have that option. And then this one lady made me go find her, her, her underpants, so I killed her. She's <laughs> yeah. like, go do the job, man. Underpants? I'm like, no, she's fucking like an old lady. Ew. Probably she lost her depends? I don't know. Prob well, this game's old. They probably didn't have depends back then. And they're probably soiled, but... Plain cloth? No, Ew. I mean, it's just kind of stupid. It's like, I'm this samurai, and now I'm some old lady is like, hey, go find my underwear. I'm like, no. Die. So I killed her. She's <laughs> kind of bitch. Yeah. <laughs> She took forever to die though too. Holy shit! It took me like two minutes to kill her. You look back, she's actually like some grandmaster of some crazy clan. No, I think it's just, <laughs> I just I don't think I was supposed to kill her in the, in the middle of the mission. Probably not. <laughs> the main story is all screwed up now because you killed this old woman. No, I have multiple saves. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Didn't you kill one of the guys that saves though? Yeah, you you can kill people who who save the game, so you have no saves. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. I killed all of them. I was like, what are these guys doing? They have like some round like Chinese guitar, and I was like, that's gay, let's kill him. <laughs> oh, he helps you. Let's yeah. Fucking musicians. And then, and then I talked to him for once, and he said I can save. I was like, oh, oh my bad. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but the cool thing is though, that when you die in the game, it's like that character actually died. So they give you like the ranking of your what your guy was, and like. So it's a permadeath game. Pretty much, yeah. But you can, you can go back and like re uh, reload a save, but. Like, do you get to change his looks then? I yeah, guess? no, you can change his looks. Like, at the start. I'm not sure how you upgrade, like, because there's lots of, like, question marks. Like, open spots that put more stuff in. So I'm not sure how you unlock the other stuff. So when you go in again, you have, like, maybe, like, new clothes, and yeah, you can adjust face type, I think. Gender? Gender. I think you can adjust gender. You should be able to. You should be able to, and then hair and clothing. I, Just the I like I like the like uh, poor samurai kind of stuff. I don't like having like a whole shit of armor. I like the wearing like cloth or whatever. That sounds like my kind of game. Like a uh, samurai shampoo, like that kind of like you've seen that like that kind of style of samurai. Like the one that always has like the reed in his mouth, like that sort of like. Hey, you break dance, <laughs> break dance fight. I know I can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy. We got like a that guy was cool. I forget his name. We gotta watch that again. Uh, but no, the only like, bad complaint about that game is that you can run, and they run the same speed as you. And but they always run a, like out of the. They run faster than you, actually. No, you run a little faster than they do. Cause really? I, I've caught them. The only thing is though, when you go to attack, 
you stop moving and you swing. Oh, yeah. And then you, you can't attack while moving. That's so... I find that lame. I mean, it is like an older game. It's not... The, oh, yeah, it doesn't... We have the Samurai 4. It doesn't look... Out. It doesn't look very is good. Is in Japan? Yeah, what? I think so. And it's, that was only on PS3. Yeah. But I don't think you can play it because it's in Japan. Motherfucker. Oh, I'm here. Unless I'm going to get a J Japan PS3. I could do that. I got two. <laughs> You put one on top of the other, and tape them together. That's <laughs> true. Look at this, I got a double PS3. Like a hybrid PS3. It doesn't always work Maybe that way, Maybe I could do though. the fusion dance. When I was trying to fix my PS3 when I realized I, had, I hadn't realized that I had plugged the cords in wrong and I had it black and white, one of the apparent solutions was the, uh, actually the problem that you could have a Japan PS3 with a TV from America. And they wouldn't be compatible yeah. together. What? Stupid Japanese. You know, technology is so much more advanced than we are. Yeah, so yeah, I played that game. That game was cool. I definitely, like, look it up. I don't think there's a demo or anything for it. No and it cost me a fair amount of money. But. How much did you buy it for? 40 bucks. Oh. It's uh, a bit pricey. Yeah. It's crazy, but I mean, it's, that's a hard game to find. I would say like 25 to 30, I think. But the thing is, like, I'm a huge, like, samurai and ninja, that kind of yeah. style. Yeah, oh, yeah, so it, 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 it appeals to me, so that's kind of why I got, like, people like the, like, I heard my guys like the fancy RPGs and stuff, that doesn't really appeal oh, yeah, to no. me, like, samurais do, so. I, I like samurais do, I don't know, I, I probably wouldn't pay 40 bucks for that. No? I think, I, I don't know, I didn't see it anywhere to, like, buy, used, or rent, so I kind of had to You like Gigi? I was on PG. <laughs> oh. I looked for a while. But yeah, no, that, that, and then I played this other really cool game that I'm, I just rented for a week. Um, it's called, uh, what is it? Record of Agris War Zero. Um, it came out What's three, right four that? weeks ago. That was that anime one? Yeah, yeah, that was that anime okay. turn based yeah. JRPG. Yeah. For Xbox and PS3. Um,. Yeah, something different that most people don't really pick up. Because it is like a... I know it's another like Japanese game that just got ported over. Um, yeah, yeah, it's turn-based. Right. It's kind of has, has a sprite style of like a Game Boy Advance kind of fantasy game. It's not graphically intensive. It's not graphically intensive, but it still looks nice. Oh yeah, no, I, I like I mean, that kind of style of art. So yeah, I'm definitely, I just rented it for a week, but I'm definitely going to go pick it up. Um... Played, I don't know, probably six, seven hours of it, and I barely got into anything. It was still teaching me stuff. So yeah, no, it's it's really cool. It's in depth, leveling up and everything. It was fun. Definitely just go look it up online. You'll be able to tell like what I'm talking about just looking up online. Again, that's a record of Agrist War Zero. <laughs> I can't, I can't really like. Handful. Mouthful of a name. <laughs> I can't really talk about it because it is just pretty much a turn based RPG. Grid, it's turn based grid RPG Grid's game. Always good. Yeah, grid's so. different. It's a fun. It is it is it's challenging. I like it better better than well I guess you do just walk around and battles randomly appear. Huh? No, it's um, pretty much you go from like point to point and you battle at every point. Oh. Like there's like, a big map and then oh. like Specific spots that's, that's you go fun. to. Because I, I just don't like it when it's like you walk around yeah. and it gives that little intro thing and then you have a battle, but then like right after you're done that battle, you take like two steps and does it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's really annoying. No, you know, there's like, it's like a grid too, like in the map. So it's like, like you can see where you have to go and there's like those little smaller like battles you go on the way to beat like the bigger boss or whatever. Which is really cool. Yeah. I don't really think I've played anything else. That I can remember. Yeah, I was gonna try out some games, but I didn't try them out. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm done. Yeah. Um, dancing. What do you play? League of Legends, mostly. <laughs> Again. Oh, yeah. And Team Fortress Two. Um, Same as last year. Pretty much. I did play Alan Wake though up at the lake, because Jedi let me borrow his copy. Alan Wake up there. So good. <laughs> was it that lake? No, it was not. You didn't go to the w lake in Alan Wake? No, I didn't go into the lake in Alan Wake. Mm -hmm. To bake. <laughs> For heaven's sake. But I wanted to Mad bake. Rhymes. I don't know, I, thought, I, I like it. It's like, my, definitely my... It is a really good game. I'm on like on chapter Where's 4 or something cake? like that. The cake is, the cake a, lie. is a lie. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I just think I just like the idea that's behind it. Plus, it's I like how they made it so it's like you know, you know what? Where it's like they make it like a show, and when you're done, when oh, you're done, yeah. when you're done an episode, it, it's like it shows the title like always, and then, oh, yeah. and then it's like uh, whatever happened last episode, and shows like recap. Previously, like, yeah, previ- previously on Alan Wake. Yeah, and so it shows a recap of that. They were gonna do that in uh, Lone in the Dark, but Lone in the Dark turned out to be really awful. Yeah, that game. Lone in the Dark had really game. good music, though. That was the, really the only thing they ended up going for in that game. Yeah, you it had incredible music. It's too dark, I heard. Hmm? Like too dark, like visually. I crank the brightness up on every game. Yeah, I well, I was playing on a standard definition TV, so I just turned it up a bit more than usual. Otherwise, I probably would have just put it up in normal how it normally should be, but I can't couldn't see anything. <laughs> I rarely have difficulties with brightness. The only game I've had problems with brightness has been Uncharted 2 in dark areas. That's, that's like one of the few games I didn't have problems that's all with brightness. Play. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, all no, do you have brightness issues on YouTube? No. <laughs> <laughs> out, out of every game I've ever played, I've never had problems with brightness. I've never had to increase brightness at all. Oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, with with my game, like my TV, I'm in L- in LCD, and it's always too bright almost. Oh. I know that I know when we were playing Dead Space. It's too bright. That's yeah. standard, so you have to like put it down. Put it down. Where you probably, uh. you probably have a a plasma. Head, I have an right? LCD too. It's just it's, you have an LCD it's across from a window. Oh. And like the window glares oh. no matter what time of day it is. It's freaking two why, in the why, morning. Why they the still hell, glare why out. Why did I just get like a plasma? You still have a plasma for basements. Plasma is more TV. expensive. Yeah, they are more expensive. I'll probably save up for a new TV. But, but plasmas have like r- richer blacks as well. Yeah. How much your TV cost you? Mine? Isn't like a couple hundred. They're, they're a good price. Yeah, I'll probably pick like one of those things up for so my new room. So. Get get a, a new room. Where's a new room? Do you know like the where the piano is? Yeah. Yeah, I can like the... When you like after the boot room, you turn yeah. the... Yeah, we move the pi- we move the piano into the living room and we're clearing that all out, and that's gonna be my. How room. like how much space do you have in there? Why? I'm just curious for the size of TV you should get. Well, I could get a pretty large size. Yeah, but he's got to put in the rotating bed with, and rotating then the, mir- bed. the mirror on the roof. You know, oh, yes. <laughs> rotating oh. bed, mirror on the roof. That's too expensive. Heart shaped. I don't think it's big enough. That room's pretty small. It's not a lot of bigger than what you must be used to. No. Small. It's just that I have to share with my old room, so I mean I don't use it for anything other than sleeping. So I mean, this way I can, because my dad wants to use the basement for his office, so he wants to use my computer area for his office. So I can just use my laptop in my room and stuff. I gotta move all my computer stuff up there, and then I gotta move my Xbox up there. And then you can get a recording system to record Xbox. Don't yeah. you share the Xbox with you? Yeah, he's gonna save up to get his own though, cause yeah, he plays so much. Yeah, he plays way more than I do, anyway. So maybe, maybe so he just get a new one. Yeah. Those things run a lot quieter. Yeah, he might want a job that would help him. Oh yeah, <laughs> he needs to get one. My uh, my friend. He's only like fifteen though, so yeah. My uh, coworker named his Xbox uh, Hel- uh, Helen Keller. Cause Why? Because it just sits there and whines all the time. And <laughs> that's I mean, that's mean. He's really mean. That's a bad joke. It's awful. It's kind of funny, but... Really Anyways. Bad. Yeah. I also like the gameplay of Alan Lake, like the style of it. It's like Resident Evil. Uh, like Resident Evil 4 and 5. Yeah. There was actually so. points where I was scared shitless. Yeah, game. it's a pretty scary game. It's, it's a good scary game, though, because I like it because it's... More of a thriller rather than a yeah, it's outright horror game. Like it's like a s- out psychological game. thriller too. Like it gets all foggy and those guys will come running out of yeah. the Yeah, I like the cinematic effects though. When, whenever like you see a big group of guys coming, you'll like zoom out to where they are and then they'll like yeah. slow down. And also when you like dodge stuff, it's really easy to get achievements there in that game too. Like some of them are pretty fun to do. And like, oh, what did I like really? There was one thing I really liked about that game. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. You know what? Just keep going. I can't remember what it is. I got this back. Oh. I wish I liked scary games more. I'm just well. You like watching scary games. Stop, man up. <laughs> man, we gotta we gotta make you play a scary game. 
I'm gonna, we're gonna make you play a scary game. And I'm, I'm gonna record it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make you play a scary we, game. We won't put we won't make you play an uber scary game. We'll make you play a scary game. I still gotta do. Yeah, that. but the problem is he's seen like all the everyone who loves playing no. scary games. Picture in picture of amnesia. I don't know. Have you seen amnesia? The, the oh, penumbra. Have you seen? Penumbra? No. Oh, we'll, we'll go and play penumbra. Don't tell him that. Now he's gonna go watch it when he gets home. I do have the soundtrack from my iPod. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the Penumbra soundtrack? I've never heard yes. of it, but I have but the soundtrack. But you I, haven't, I haven't watched the stuff from it. I discovered it when I was do looking at Amnesia. Amnesia is a game that I would like. It's the kind of scariness that I think I would appreciate if I could, if I was actually man enough. Yeah, man enough to play. Atmosphere. Yeah, I like. I don't. I know. I, I like atmosphere. atmosphere. Yeah. In fact, some my. I would play a game where you nothing ever came out at you. It was just the atmosphere scared you the yeah, entire like time. Blair Witch I don't. I don't like the idea of Never things jumping out. I don't like the idea that you have the gun <laughs> because the gun empowers you. The I'm problem with video games and scary and trying to be scary is that video games are always trying to empower you, so you never are going to be as scary as you. Could. Well, no, like in Alan Wake, it's like because you have to use light and everything. So and yourself. and nah. See, yeah. The thing I, the thing I found, the thing I found is, I never really even got close to running out of batteries. I have no batteries. But like they do we swarm you. Batteries. They do. They do swarm you from like every direction though. So I mean, you, the one thing you do have to save up on is flashbangs and flares. But they like my lifeline. Whatever. And much. like they had so many. Like I wouldn't have even thought like light kills and flashbangs. Like, I wouldn't have even thought of that. I don't know why. Well, flashbangs like, create light. And yeah, light I know. kills them. So. What do you mean? It's you wouldn't have like, thought of the like idea nice, of using a flashbang? It's like a nice add-in. Oh, like, yeah, no, it is. I was like, happy when I got them. Like, because it was like, oh, we could put frag grenades in here, and they somehow kill. But no, let's use flashbangs. And, and then they start, flashbangs useful and they start adding, like, supernatural shit, though. Like, uh, spoiler. You don't care. No, do. I do, because I'm going to play that game. Okay. Is it, like, a major plot? It's not a pl it doesn't add to the story. It's just uh, what a type of enemy, I guess you could say. Oh, pfft. That's fine. Okay. Well, let, I was just don't spoil the, the story. The darkness just gets bigger, and then it starts taking over objects. So they start floating, and oh yeah, they start shaking, and then you then they get thrown at you like really really hard. <laughs> they do so much damage. The table? Do you remember that? Yeah. I walked into that room. I was like, oh, there's no one in here. And then the table hit me in yeah. the back of the head. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it hurt. And I so. shit a brick. And then they throw like chains <laughs> at you and stuff. Oh, but crazy. also the flare guns are really useful. Yeah. they but I was happy to like I like I like how you didn't get new weapons too because I got the pump shotgun and stuff like that. And that just so. becomes the problem. It's just that I see guns and I go, it's not really scary anymore. You have an object which you can use. I like the idea of amnesia because you have to run. Hide. You have to hide. See, I'm not the good only at that. problem, even if I got to play it, was I would play it in such small chunks that even if you tried to film me, it would not be fun because I'd be stopping. Some games I can play for long stretches. Other games I take very quick breaks in between, and it will it's take a me a buffer break. A buffer break. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let the movie buffer before you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> YouTube. No. YouTube buffer. Yeah. Hey, that's that's that. That's uh, that's that. We'll try a soul. Remember that soul. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> After that part happened, it's like within the first, it's like, it's like, like in a, the first it's, minute. It's a downloadable game. It's like you're like a soul, like you're like this little ball, blue, blue Wait. ball of light. Yeah, and you like go through like this maze kind of thing. You cannot touch anything. You hit the, the walls, edges, and oh. random shit just jumps out at you. Well, we only had one thing jump at us, and then we just like we well, really what was jumped it? into the bed and hit under the covers. <laughs> Cause we're playing through it, and it's like no. stuff, it's like stuff dripping, or whatever. Like okay, that's. Okay. Yeah. Is this just like jump scares that take over the entire screen? No, yeah, the screen. Yeah, I was playing it, and, and then the game. we were like, okay, this isn't too hard, because there's a shadowy figure on the right, and we were like, okay, I'm assuming that's where you get to the end, and so we go through the maze, and then we hit it, and then it's like this, and then it goes like, ah! and then it's like this big, like, scary face that fills the skin, and then I shit my pants and hit under the couch. I remember when those scares just started, and my friend had the absolute perfect moment for doing that. He just moved houses, and he emailed me with a with an alleged picture of his new house, asked me if I thought I saw something weird in the background, and I just kept on looking, oh, looking, those, looking, and BAM! <laughs> there was the face. See, I just... Ugh. 
I no, I'm saying is I found them too too predictable now. Uh, yeah, they're too predictable now. But when I was younger, I fell yeah. for them all the time. So what you just weren't expecting on, it, especially on YouTube. Yeah. I like atmosphere. some of them are scary as fuck because they use like the Exorcist face and stuff, yeah. and I'm like just hyperventilating sp- after, and then I have to like go upstairs and like into the sun. So I just scare shitless. <laughs> Watching you guys play Dead Space Two, that's why I started noticing that they used way too many jump scares. And they should well, have a lot more atmosphere. They did I mean, it fits Dead Space, though. And I mean, it's still a really, really uh, good game. Because it has both atmosphere and how yeah, like the really atmosphere when you hear the guys, like, skittering in the, the air ducts. Like, yeah. I'll put this free show because you don't know where they're going to pop out. Yeah, and then they don't pop out at you for, like, ever. And then they don't pop out. A level that I actually think I should really try is I've always wanted to play Thief. Deadly Shadows. I love that game. The Cradle. It's supposed to be the scariest yeah, level in a game. Yeah, I know. I remember that like years ago. I'm surprised you haven't played it yet. I. It's just a game that. It's just the pro- some of the problems I have with games is that I really want to have a big gap <coughs> of safety, so that when I, I don't want to lose all my water arrows. So I probably would never use. Oh. Them. Th- this is the problem yeah, no, I, no, have I, with I, games, I have with problem. Is that. In, in Dragon Age Origins, I always use the healing spell. So by the time I was done the end game, I had about 55 healing potions, uh, just just normal healing potions that I'd never used, and that I would actually die and then realize I could have used a healing potion just because I like to hoard things and only use them at certain moments. I like the, the idea of saving things just in case I absolutely need them for a key moment, which never actually comes. Yeah. So resource management's not really my thing because I'm going to save it and get myself screwed over in a game because of it. Yeah, resource management is hard. It's not that hard now on Lake, though, because there's a lot of stuff. But I've been learning about the idea. There's some games that I really don't want to go through the trouble of stuff. I just want to kind of enjoy the atmosphere of the game or just goof off in it. And so I've been <laughs> learning <much>. about <laughs> trainers, which modify the game in different ways. They're essentially like cheats, but they're made by other people because the games never came with cheats. Mm. So it's stuff like you can play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, and you can have unlimited sand and stuff yeah. like that. Cheat ads. You I just always off the cheats, aren't you? Game tweets, cheats, mods. I like cheats. I like mods. Mod like mods are mods fun, aren't really. but mods don't really Cheating. Count. I don't really care with certain <laughs> games about cheating or whatever. I'm there to have fun, so if I'm going to play with cheats, I'm perfectly fine with that. Yeah, no. Always, On some games, it's alright. I always play Quake 2 with cheats. That's a Quake's fun. Fuck, I destroyed Quake 2. Just can't play it. One of my favorite things to do is go into Gary's mod, turn God Mode on, make it so the enemies won't notice me, and go through Raven Home. And just yeah, listen to Raven like, all fun. the ambient sound they have going there because that's one of the best atmospheric levels made. I don't got to be half of Good game. Yeah, I just pay too much for it. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I'll see, see if they ever come up with Half-Life episode. Well, they had it at E3, so it should be coming out next year. They had it at E3, that doesn't mean it's going to come out. Well, it's closer than not having it at E3. That's true. Um, oh, I also played this really crappy game. It's free to, free on Steam now. It's called War Incorporated Battlezone. I saw oh, that I today. Is it terrible? It's total shit. Like, define total shit. Total shit as in it's laggy. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't know what they did, but they didn't code the game well enough to be run. Like, it's not the best looking game, but I. Like, I could run Crisis with a s- smooth frame rate, but I couldn't run this game on high. It gave me like 7 frames per second. I had to run it on low, and that doesn't make any sense to me, because it's not that good of a looking game. It's a third person shooter, and it's like team based. Apparently, it's the most competitive t- tactical shooter of 2011 or something like that. Oh, Is some, that ad- some weird advert. Yeah, some weird advertising thing like that. Uh, it's it's really along the lines really of that, and it's, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's total crap. And bro. it's super laggy. I'm assuming that's because it just went free to play on Steam, so everyone was playing it. No, but the game just sucks. Probably. I mean, nobody was buying it. It's just I don't know, and it's not very responsive. Like I mean, I like shooters where like 
I don't know how to describe it really, but when you're like shooting something, you, you sort of need to feel like you're actually feel hitting the it. Med- the immediacy of the shot. Yeah, like you need to feel a response from it. Like, like I think that's one of the pr- like it's one of the reasons why some people don't like Halo is because like when you're shooting them, it's like you feel like you're not doing any of them. It's the I same like, thing with Battlefield. I like Halo it was more a than dice roll. Cold yeah. I always felt was way too fast and never oh, had yeah. time to respond. And it's not fun because it becomes way too twitch based. Yeah, well, in Halo, twitch. you have a slight uh, chance if you're being shot first to change how things are going. Well, I like twitch based shooters. I think Counter Strike had the best balance for it, though. Yeah. I haven't put that in so long. So good. I just got Source, so. I've been, I I've have been playing Counter Strike well, Source as well. I and have Counter Strike Source. Yeah, I'll play together sometime. Yes! Play Zombie Mod. It's oh fun. shit. <laughs> I've played that with some of my clan mates. It's really, really fun. Like, the, th- the feature I like in Counter Strike, it's really random, but you have that button press where it just puts an image on the wall. Oh, oh spray. the spray. Yeah, and like everyone has their own, and everybody puts really funny stuff. And really? Like, All I see in Counter Strike Source now is porn. Usually porn, yes, but. I just see. Big boobs everywhere. I oh, need to. What's wrong I with that? Ma- I need well, to make it's distracting. One. I think that's the point, though. <laughs> boobs make yes. everything better. You get like people staring at them. No, and you just come up that's behind not them. True. Them. I'm scared where you're going with this. What? If, if what you, you see a man with boobs, does that, does that make it better? It makes a part of him better. Well, so you, so you like feeling on man boobs then? Not man boobs. <laughs> but would a man with boobs have man boobs? Yeah. Exactly. Valid point. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, War Inc., bad game. I play it, like, it's sad because it, it took, like, three hours, a couple hours to download it. Played ten minutes of it, and then I uninstalled it right away. Felt At like it was wait, free. Felt like wait. Yeah, it's a free, so I was like, yeah, I didn't feel like I lost anything. And there's, like, some indie games I might buy on Steam, but I'm still iffy because they haven't got, hasn't got the best review, so. Can you just download the, can you just download the trial? They don't have a demo of it. Indie games are sometimes going to YouTube have. it. Oh no, I, I took the videos of it, but there's not that many videos of it either. But uh, it'd be fun if like someone else got it. It's only like seven bucks right now, so I might as well just download it anyways. Seven bucks me put towards getting a new game. Yeah, I know. I can just get get the game. I mean, seven bucks isn't that bad. Seven bucks is about a new <laughs> That's that's like a good lunch. <laughs> That's all I played, though. <laughs> what? Turn the fan, I'm so warm over here! Oh, it's your fault for sitting over there. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. I chose a spot for a reason. Exactly. <laughs> you chose your original spot, you would have all the fans in the world. Yeah, no, I'm so dumb. But yeah. Oh. This was his original spot. <laughs> and my played this week list is very long. Is it your turn? I'd say I was done. <laughs> okay. Bitch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'm almost done. So League of Legends, Counter Strike Source, Team Fortress 2, Alan Wake, and War Incorporated, which is the only game I regret playing. Can we even count it as a game? And, and you just yeah. got a big fucking Yoshi today. Yeah. Of like four feet tall. That's yeah, pretty big. It weighs like. Oh, well, you will. Well, well, you didn't the, see the it. probably weighs like 40 pounds. 30, 40 pounds. Mm, I say 30. 40 pounds. Okay. I win. Right? Yes. Oh, I like your turn, Arc Light. Okay. Well, I rented many, many. Blah, 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 blah. Why did no one ever say they played Earth Defense Force this week? Because we we're reviewing that. <laughs> yeah, because technically, it's <laughs> technically we played it. Because it's shit. Fuck, we didn't give. They just give away a review, you. I give away mine. I guess it's in the description. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Go! Fine. Oh. So, okay. I rented two other games before that. Yes. I rented Arcania Gothica 4. Yes! Gothic 4! I keep calling it Gothica. I don't know why. I thought it was Gothica. It's Gothic 4. Okay. Because the 4 looks like an A to me. Actually, without it buying Gothic 3 on Steam. Gothic Are those 3 games was supposed a good to be game. really buggy? But I don't they're know. Really, they they're they're buggy, decent. but they're very good. I mean, I don't mind buggy as long as it's not game breaking. But like it was a fun game. Co op, like you said, would have made it a lot better. Any dungeon crawler should have co op. Uh, it was the like, story was good <laughs> for the bit I played, but combat was just too slow. Too slow combat. Good, like, good, good. You would be say you were running with your uh, your weapon sheath. The second weapon you pull sheath. out your 
<laughs> the second you pull out your weapon, it drops you to. Ha- Do we need the smack a bitch? <laughs> I think we need the cut a bitch. Smack, smack a bitch button. Anytime you would pull out your weapon, it would drop your speed to like less than half. Why? Just so you could be like in combat mode. Oh, oh it's one of those games. Different stance. Stance one, run. Oh yeah, combat. Yeah, you even talk about it. Well, really. you, you talk about it because this guy's played that and game. And then, like, I, like, I was having fun with it, but I wasn't going to keep it for the full week because I knew I wasn't going to play it for the full week. Alright, can you? Yeah. I, like, I liked it. I would, if it was sitting on the shelf for 25 bucks, you pick it up. I would pick it up. It's, it's just one of those games you probably want to, yep. it's, as, I'm assuming it's one of those games where you, I just, you don't sit down and play it. I don't multiple, have time multiple, for multiple it. Multiple hours of it in one sitting. It's one of those games where you've you played over a long span of time. Yeah. Like, I, I can't can, do that with RPGs though. I can see myself just sitting down, like, if I found it for that 25, yeah. I'd bring it home I'd probably sit there the rest of the day. Just, just playing it? Just playing yeah, it. Yeah, that's just what I have to do with RPGs. But it's like the thing with rental games is I only rent them so I can beat the story and have them out of the way. Yeah. But I know games like that I'm not going to be able to beat. The the, those games you just rent to see how much I you wanted to rent to, to see if I'm willing and how much I'm willing to pay for it. That's what renting is yeah. for. Uh, I, then I switched it for Dungeon Siege 3 the next day. Yay! Well. I can talk about Dungeon Siege 3 too. <laughs> uh, Average. I hate it that was, game. It was eh. <laughs> um, I played the demo. You you got the full I, version, I, right? Yeah, I, I got. Demo. I rented the full version. Um, I sometimes out of boredom on rental games only, I find I will look through the achievements before I play, and they expect that you're going to play through each time as each different character. Yeah, uh, they have different to get all the yeah. achievements. And see, I don't. A lot of the characters are somewhat similar. Like there's there's one warrior, well, but there's two mages. Well, the th- two it's mages. A, it's a Linear dungeon crawler, so I mean, it's not like it's not like you're it changes it a lot. Cha- like, the story, the story like changes, changes a very little, very bit. little, like a little bit of dialogue will change. It'll be like, you well, have to find this, these three, it's only the dialogue because I mean, it, it's a, the main point of the story has to stay the same because yeah. it's the same Which for is all three of the characters. Sort of disappointing considering that this is from Obsidian, these guys were supposed to be the next Bioware, and they keep on getting subpar games, you just keep messing up. Yeah. He's gonna come up with a real like big game that everybody wants to play. I found it okay, but I didn't oh, have yeah. anyone to play it with. From what I've it would be a fun local multiplayer. Game. Yeah, it's yeah. Local, I because like local. I found it, it reminded me of one of my favorite games. It Baldur's reminded Gate. me of Baldur's Gate: Dark, Dark Alliance. Alliance. And that made me very very happy because yeah. I love that game. That yeah. game's one of my favorite dungeon callers. Which like it, Dungeon Siege One and Two are really really. Nothing good will too. ever be as good to me as Baldur's Gate, though. They will n- probably never get a game just like that again. You can't. Then it's just copycat. Me and my sister <laughs> always claim that we're gonna beat it, and we have really fond memories playing that game. And so that's why I'm kind of waiting to see what happens with Lord of the Rings: War of the North. Yes, I really hope. That's I hope well it's good. It looks like it's going to be better than other games, but I have the sense that it's going to be kind of average. Um, originally it was supposed to be like a third H2 kind of idea. It could be just like Brink. It looks like it's going to be good, and just shoot the bed. That's true. I really hope not. Yeah. M-rated Lord of the Rings game, I hope they don't do that wrong. Brink, yeah, what is it? Was it bad Lord of the Rings game? Conquest. The, <coughs> Conquest yeah. was... It was bad. It was... Oh, it was bad. Uh, I'll, I'll, it was bad. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It was so short, too. Oh. It was really and I beat in like three hours. Yeah, it was like short, that. and multiplayer online... Everyone, multiplayer was terrible. Everyone online was amazingly good. I'm good. Like, it confused the crap out of me. Like, I... It was like... Right. That was the first thing I did. I usually don't go right into multiplayer, but I did. Because I thought it'd be like Star Wars Battlefront. Because it was like the same idea. And made by the same guys. Everyone was amazing. There was not a single, like, terrible person, except for me on the team, apparently. Everyone else has got, like... 40 kills, there's me with like two. Stretching. Just keep talking. Anyways. Very well. Wait. And it was like, it made me sad. So it was Lord of the Rings mixed with like the Star Wars Battlefront formula, which I thought would be really good. Yeah. But it shit the bed. Bad Anyways, day. it's hard to make a good multiplayer game that's gonna involve swords. That's true. So eventually you're gonna have someone get pissed off because of leg and be 
feel like they hit you before that. Well, it's oh, a that's lot easier that's than impossible. doing that with guns. I don't know. I played Darkfall online that has swords and stuff. That was pretty good. I remember you playing that. Yeah, that I probably played it, except though. you have to just put so much time in it, that's all. Was that where you're like the wolf or whatever? Yeah, you can be a wolf. I remember that. A wolf Ooh. type of person. Oh, when you play local co-op and then you see you does the main person get to keep their character? Um, and then the other people? Or is it drop out. Up? I'm not even sure out, about it? local. I know online is drop in, drop out, and yeah. you get to keep your person, which is no, stupid I, beyond I, belief. I, I, I think the host gets to keep their character, though. If it was, yeah. The yeah. host does, the other people don't. Yeah. If it was local, I would assume you could log into more than one account and keep it on there. Hopefully. I would really hope yeah. so. I'm assuming they'd save it on if, that profile. If, if they did, that'd be If they didn't, idea. I think Obsidian's pretty much just signed their death warrant right there. Yes. <laughs> they, no one can screw up that bad. But I guess there's lots okay, of maybe. There's lots Lord of, of the Rings like Conquest can. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, cause it, to me, it's like you drop, let's say, two hours with that guy. Then when you turn it off, you lose all that progress. So it's like two hours of life, just like, eh. All you get about was, was interaction with another person. You know, Fable Two it. had that problem. I think yes. that Fable Three might have had a bit of that problem as well. Fable Three did it a lot better than Fable Two, because you actually got to play as your character. Whereas Fable Two, you were a generic henchman. Now those were games that have increasingly gotten more disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Fable no, One, Fable Fable one was awesome. Fa the only way, the only one that progressively got better was Fable One to Fable the Lost Chapters. If you count that as extra, mm. I'll even say Fable Two was. Fable Two was pretty good. Fable pretty good for, for some of the stuff it was doing, but Fable Three is awful. I didn't play Fable Three. So. I did not play, but I talked to friends who were very pissed off with how they handled the ending. I did not like that game. I was a big, like, I played the first Fable. Like, I can play through it, and I will know where everything is, because I've just gone through it that many times. But Fable 2, I went through once. One and a half times I went through it. I just got halfway through it, I got bored out of my mind. Fable 3, I went through, it was a struggle to get through even once, because I wanted to finish it to say I had finished it. And now they're making a Connect Fable. Yeah, yeah, you heard about that? I did. It's you're got right. chariot races. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're on, you're on the chariot race. Right? And to, like, cast magic, you do a little disco dance. Get down to the... Oh, gosh. They say it's not on rails, but the demo they showed was very much looking on rails, and so the, they... The Mass Effect 3 demo was on rails. It was not on rails. That was on rails. It was not on rails. I had an E3. It was not on rails. That was, that was on rails. There's one sequence where you're on... Turret that's driving. So if you think that's on rails, then yes. But the rest of it was not on rails. Yeah, I was I was told by the people who watched it or whatever at E3, like the like video game reviewers that ever said it was on rails. It was on rails shooter. They would not put that Mass Effect on rails. No, no I'm saying I'm saying the demo they had the E3 was on rails. I'm not saying no. the game. There there's there's one yeah. There's one sequence where you're on a turret that's driving away and you're just shooting at an enemy following you. Yeah. And so I think that's what they were talking about, but the rest was the same third person shooter. As it's always been. As it's well, always like, been. That can still be on rails. No. Let's take it back to Luke. No. Nope. A few minutes. Well, he's, in, he's gonna take hours anyway, so. Okay, go on. Not hours. Uh, I finally beat Could Demon be. Souls. I bought that, like, the week it came out, too. It took that long. There was one boss that was just beating the crap out of me every time. Literally? Nice. He has a move where if he hits you, he steals a, a level, like an attribute level. Ouch. And it's just like a random one. So he would steal like a strength point from me, and I would have less health through the whole fight. Ouch. Like a little bit less health, but not, not like noticeable. So when you kill him, do you get back? No. That sucks. Oh. And when you die, do you get it back? Okay, if you die, you leave your blood stain on the ground. Can and you if you click that, you get it back. But if you, um, if he hits, like, he hit me with it the time I killed him, he hit me with it four times. And then I that killed him, and I was like, oh, I don't get this back. Now, the problem is, is he's the hardest, like, he's one of the hardest bosses in the game. Mm -hmm. So I had beat all the other worlds, like, completely. And once you beat him, it instantly puts you into the end game. So you can't upgrade or anything. Because the lady who upgrades you also takes you to the end game part. <laughs> so I could not upgrade nice. before the end game. 
That's and sad. there were like optional bosses left that I hadn't beaten yet, but I wanted to beat him because he had killed me like 30 times. <laughs> And now I'm in New Game Plus, and the basic enemies do as much as some of those mini bosses do. Uh, like where before they would hit me for like 20 <laughs> health, they hit me for a good 500 now. Sweet. So <coughs> it'll be fun. <laughs> I think. Think. If if I'm a player where you want to just throw something, yeah, throw for that game. Cause Dark Souls is coming out. <laughs> well, I, at least I finally beat it before Dark Souls came. Yeah, exactly. That's all I really wanted to do there, so. so right. It had been bugging me for a while. What's Demon 2? Uh, I played Vanquished. Vanquish. Yeah. I bought it. It's 25 bucks. That's worth it. And it's fun, it's fast paced, but now because it's so fast paced, it made Gothic Everything 4 seem so much and slower. Dungeon Siege seem so goddamn slow. Like, I played them after I played Vanquish. And they mean they seemed even slower than they did like ten like the hour before when I would play them before Vanquish. Ouch. So like going from moving at like fifty miles an hour while shooting around the floor on my knees like, with my jet boosters. <laughs> I go to running at like two miles an hour. And then I pull my sword out and I move at like a snail's pace. Yeah. So you know in normal runs faster than two miles per hour. Not in our, not in Gothic four it isn't. You can pick the terrible game and play it. It's not terrible, it just seems slow. Seems slow. <laughs> it's very slow. Not matter of perception. How do you beat Vanquish? Uh, I'm only on the second act with like five, I think. Oh. I'm like halfway through the second act. So you, okay. It's got the but the guy who voices Augur in, uh, in Dragon Age in it. I, I, I like that okay, guy. Okay, yeah. I love that guy. That it? Hmm? That it? Yeah, for that one really. It's like it's fun. I recommend it. It's in my like top. Really? Thirty. Oh, thirty. <laughs> uh, that leaves quite a bit of room. Yeah, I like the. Well, I can't say top five because then. You got. Top five of this year. Let's go with that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, there a this year? I have played a lot of games Six? this year. Isn't there, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there a move involved in throwing a cigarette? There is, but I'm not at that point yet. Oh, okay. Spoiler alert! Spoiler well, alert! <laughs> that move is supposed well, to be non-spoiled! Your, your character is a chain smoker, so... Oh, like, I don't think at least I have lost respect for him. <laughs> at least in like every cutscene, he's got a cigarette in his mouth. I'm not playing that game anymore. Is he smoking, or is it just in his mouth? No, he's it's usually he's smoking. He smokes it for like two seconds, and then he pitches it. Because so there's a fight coming up. Yeah, he's like, Oh, I need to smoke! Oh, fuck, I can't smoke right now. <laughs> It's just a waste of money. It's the only reason he's fighting. <laughs> he's fighting for more smoke. He just wants smoke. a break to take a They tried rest. to get him the patch, but he got angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, is there a game built like that where you just try to get one thing the whole time and then the game you finally gets it? We're not playing a game like that. So yeah, it's called Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Mario never gets it, though. Exactly. It never ends. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, she's not in this castle. She'll be in another one. She's always in Castle 8, Mario. Just skip to there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he learns any abilities in the other castles either. Doesn't. Like, helps him get to the 8 castle. He just like, yeah, screw this, well, jump off the path, well, run through the forest. Every, doesn't like it. Every world gives them like new enemies, and then in World 8, all of them are come together, and they're all powerful. Yeah. Good old school games. But yeah, like, and he throws a cigarette and it distracts the robots, because they're retards. Ooh, light! Oh, what's that? Fire! And yeah, the that. only thing I dislike about it, um, you overheat very quickly, like from your boosters. Well, if you're just shooting around the room on your boosters, it's not too bad, but if you boost and hit, uh, like, melee attack, you will, like, do this crazy jump kick and, like, boost into their face and then do, like, a backflip and you can go into, like, a slow-mo move from there and shoot as you're falling out of the air. It sounds like Shinglehold. But it's, like, mm -hmm. you can only do one of those boost kicks, and then you're overheated for, like, a good 15 seconds. Wow. Oh. So there you're running around, bad. like, <laughs> waiting to recharge. Oh, you can't expect to be boosting at 24 7. Because there's this probably cheap for that, just, just on thumb. <laughs> yeah, just that's long. Is there a cheap for it? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, I have Vanquish never interesting. Why not? Just start with the V? Because it has guns in it. <laughs> 
<laughs> he just sees us all against like nine percent. You couldn't games find now. the gameplay if, videos. <laughs> if the game has a gun, man, I'm not playing it. I just finished Uncharted two. Yeah. I played the Uncharted three beta. Let's go into that one now. Cause I'm done you with have, have you played the beta? No, I was doing Uncharted two. Uh, beta's good. I don't even know when it ends. Yes, it's mean? done. Did it end yesterday? Oh, it, no, it finished a couple days ago. Well, whatever. I played that for a little bit, and Airfield is probably like my favorite designed for a multiplayer map <coughs> yet. Yeah. I found it pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Starts on a runway. Yeah. You either get spawned in the airplane or spawned on the moving jeeps. Mm -hmm. I had a habit of falling off the jeeps and hitting the ground and just rolling to your death. Rolling to my death and getting run over by the other jeeps. Awesome. Usually if you start in the airplane you get a good head start on everyone else because you can just cover all the doors. I saw some good gameplay for that. Yeah. You'll have those videos of people having kill streaks, and you have some nice ones with people just grabbing a bunch of people hiding on a tower and chucking them all to the ground. Nice. As they just crawl around the place, and people try and shoot them off. That's fine. That's what, like, I didn't think when they, when Uncharted 2 came out and they announced multiplayer, I didn't think it would work well with, like, the whole climbing on all, all over things. But it's actually probably one of my favorite multiplayer. Right. And it's one of the ones I'm best at. So. I definitely have to try out the multiplayer for Uncharted 2. <laughs> 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 I also have to try the cooperative stuff in Uncharted 2 eventually. Oh, you also failed last podcast. I was the most in most in ha it's just for the games. You uh left out Gears or three. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really, like, anticipating for it. That's uh, well, it's I know it's coming this, up. Happen. Skyrim's more important. Man, it's just, it's just like a fact. I'm like, yeah, I'm not really interested in it, Chunky. And then the last thing I really no, played was Oblivion. I started off Oblivion for, like, everyone knows that game. 900th time. Yeah. I've never played that game before. Yeah, I started up to see how I liked it to see if I wanted to get Skyrim. You need Skyrim? I'm still in the You, you want to train a dragon. You don't train a dragon. You want to train that dragon. I'm still in i it. All day long, maybe. Mm -hmm. There was mm -hmm. also another game called Dungeon Hunter Alliance. I played that demo. Yeah, Demon Hunter I'm Alliance. Demon Hunter? Dungeon Hunter? I don't know. Demon Hunter Is it Alliance, Demon Hunter? So. Is it a, 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 it's, it's an older game. Let's right? call it D Hunter Alliance. It's, it's newish. It is yeah, a new way, but it's not Absolutely. super new, is it? Oh, oh, I think it just it came out. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game then. Yeah, I like it's Dungeon Hunter, Demon D Hunter. Let's just call it that. It's called Alliance. And it sounds like a detective. D Hunter. D Hunter. Pets. And it's another dungeon crawler. Uh, you can play with up to other three more friends. Man, I'm not. Get Mage Rogue. Warrior. Your typical so it's just, it's just your typical dungeon crawler? Typical color? dungeon crawler. It's not like beautiful. It's like up there. But it's got, it's got like skill progression trees that I, I find. <gasps> well, that's alright. Like they got DC well done. Anyways. Anyways, that's me mm -hmm. for the week. Uh, oh, that's what we played this week. Long one this time. Because we always go off track, but it's all good. It only took like, what, an hour? Probably? Well, considering the last one we got. The last, the last one was 42 minutes. Yeah. This is a good and I'm, getting, I'm guessing this review is going to be a bit shorter because the yeah, game's the game sort game. of basic. The game we played this week was Earth Defense Force, right? Inst yeah, Earth Defense Armageddon. It's the second one in the series. Yeah. It's, uh, the, the first one is a really old one. It's a Japanese game, of course, because only Japanese would make a city being destroyed by ants and spiders. And there's apparently wasps on the front cover, we didn't Is get it? that far. Yeah, there's lots of wasps. Yeah, we only played the first few missions, um... Fine, because it sucks. Only... <laughs> it's not that bad. Uh, it's fun with Llama King and I played it, and so did Arc Light. Yeah. And Jedi just chilled again. Jedi just chilled. <laughs> he didn't fall asleep this time, though. Yeah, he didn't fall asleep. You yeah. didn't either. I didn't either, but I was playing, so... <laughs> I can't... I didn't find it impossible. What was... what? Ew. But... I, I liked it. It's a really good game. It's cooperative through with three player. It's a three player online, online campaign six and player. six player survival. And then two player local. Yeah. Um, I don't think you can have two people playing locally and then but playing online. You can't have that. 
It's either offline or online. Yeah, that's what it's easier. Um, there's it's lots of customization. Yeah, it's really cool because there's like four separate classes. Yeah, there's four different can, classes. And they upgrade all separately. Yeah, you level them up. So once you pick, once you unlock a class, you'll have that class to level up and choose different loadouts for it every single mission. I actually found that more to be annoying because I, like I decided it. to change classes after the first level. <laughs> that meant I was not progressing, I was not leveling up my guy because you can only level up certain classes so you really have to choose the first level what type of guy you want to be and you have to stick with that if you want to become better. But personally, yeah. person, I think that adds more like uh, replayability. Yeah. Yeah, but you when you're trying to no, play once... At the end of the mission, you can always just go back when you play other mission if you want to play yeah. a different guy. Yeah. But when you're just trying to play with a friend once through, it's more going to hamper you than be something that's going to make you want to go back to play. Well, I, mean, well, I didn't see it as much of a problem, because all of the three missions we played were pretty much the same damn thing. Yeah, yeah so. well, this game is really repetitive. Yeah, but it's repetitive, but it's like, there's enough content in it that I'm, there's enough stuff going on that even though it's repetitive, I'm not getting bored of it. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of action in it. I was bored while watching. Yeah, it's not a game that you, it's not watching. a game that you can watch, you have to be playing it. <laughs> I think it's this one of those games you can't really play by yourself either. It's no. Gonna be, you gotta be pretty much playing with friends. It's yeah. like Lost Planet. Yeah. Cause I, 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 didn't, I didn't like boys. playing that game by myself. That game was fun though, Lost Planet too. It was good. I enjoy when you're playing with someone. Yeah, you have to play it with someone though. Yeah. Um, the first Earth Defense Force is pretty much the same. Pretty much insects are attacking Earth. You're... I don't know, lightning or whatever. You're called lightning. You're your group your, 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 your squad is called lightning, and you go and defend Earth because you're, you know, Badass. EDF, Earth Defense Force. There's some soldier that only has one line throughout the entire game. <laughs> what? You all you ever do is say the Roger that or something like that, and yeah. go on to your next objective. <laughs> Oscar Mikey. Oscar Mikey. But uh, I liked it a lot. It's uh. I mean, new release for 40 bucks. Can't really go wrong with it. Yeah. I mean, I'd probably just get a friend and split the price, and it, then it'd be worth it. Yeah, just do a gold friend's house and play it. 20 and 20. Um, I wouldn't get it for yourself, though. I mean, if you can get it on, if you if you can find a good group of people to play online too, then that's not a bad idea yeah. either. Yeah, unless you're playing like playing really repetitive shoot stuff, have them die, more come out, shoot stuff, die. Yeah. Games by yourself, then yeah. I mean. But it, the the amount of weapons and stuff you can get, and and the ranking is the ranking up and leveling up is a nice addition. Otherwise, it'd be yeah. it probably wouldn't be worth it if, if it didn't, didn't have, have that RPG stuff. Elements, it's yeah. Like, why am I playing this? Well, yeah. What did you really get when you ranked up? Newer weapons. You got new weapons, and your oh. your abilities got upgraded. Like my turrets got upgraded. If, I were, if you were a tactical guy and you could like, like heal faster and stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. So I mean it was stuff that was worth it. Muscles, he moved faster. More uh, sexual prowess. And was good. And we were playing on the easiest difficulty. It starts out at normal. Yeah. And we still died a couple of times. So I mean if you wanted to really challenge and you can play on the hardest difficulty, which is Inferno. Mm -hmm. And then I think that'd be really challenging. Like repetitive games like this, it's fun to play on the hardest difficulty because then it's actually fun. It's kind of like, yeah, you kind of use a little bit of tactics with it. Yeah, you know, just exactly. Run as much as you like. Oh. What do you uh, think about it, Llama? Yeah, Llama <laughs> doesn't like it. Very much it was hard in, in that. Llama no like. Llama, it had guns. Don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like the fact that it had, like, the random difficulty. Yeah. Well, because it had that for the missions too, which didn't make any sense though. Because you had like your choice, you'd be like normal, hard, really hard, or random. So it'd be like surprise. Yeah, that'd but be cool. So you have to like, adjust on the go. Like it's yeah, a, I guess enough to play on the hard one though. But yeah. usually when it comes to difficulty, you sort of know what you want to play. So yeah, it's sort of hard to do. I think it's just something new that. that no one's really done before. And it's just like let's try it. Yeah. Well, it's like. You can tell it's a Japanese game. It's like, it's not, definitely not up to technical standards of today's game, so it doesn't look the best. Uh, one thing I had, I think the one issue I had with it was frame rate issues. Like, even though it didn't look the best, it still had a lot of frame rate issues when lots of stuff were exploding. And that stupid spider that got stuck in the building. Oh yeah, it's a bit buggy too. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Ah, a bit buggy. Uh, anyways, that was our quest joke because that's why it was so bad. But yeah, we had one one spider that got stuck behind an invisible wall, so we had to go hunt for it. And that, I'm pretty sure if I didn't have grenade launcher, or if we didn't have any explosives, we would have had to quit. But no, because it did eventually come crawling out. But that's only, well, that's only because I was shooting, shooting grenade launchers at it. It was stuck there, though. Oh, what did you think about it, Arclight? Uh, I didn't mind it. I felt uh, the jetpack was a little not satisfying. Not satisfying to me. Jet Why? Because it wasn't like Vanquish. No, it was not like Vanquish. It wasn't. It, it didn't have like un unlimited fuel. Well, not unlimited, <laughs> but like a decent amount of fuel for level one. Like I couldn't even make it up onto like a ten foot building. Before it would like be at half. Dude, you climbed like yeah. fifty foot buildings. Yeah. Before it was at like half. There were so many times where it was like, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the top of this building, and I would yeah. drop like this, like an inch from the lip, and I would just fall to the ground. Luckily, when I fell to the ground, I wouldn't get hurt. But that's when you jump and then you use your jetpack. Well, I mean, yeah, you are a level one, so I mean, the point yeah, of I'm it sure is to get on smaller that. buildings. I'm sure And then, like, that. the second I would get on the building, one of those ants would come around and just crush it on me. <laughs> and I'd be back down to the floor again. Yeah, it seems like those buildings crush really easily. Yeah, well, I think it's just because there's so many of them. And it's to get the feel of destruction, I guess. But. Still, though, I mean, I think that that's a little longer. Yeah. Well, Somebody did not build those buildings properly. Pretty much made of cardboard. Probably, yeah, but it's put the skull. Hollow buildings. You probably, you probably just you probably just got like shrunk and you're just like yeah, you make cardboard houses and then it's been game on a bit. Oh. So you're probably gonna honey, honey shrunk the kids. <laughs> I know you watched it, but what did you think of it? I don't know. Um, it was like it just seemed like one of those games like I don't know why it could be like a downloadable game. It yeah. seemed like seemed like kind of one of those games where it's like not really a retail game like they make a lot of sales. I they think of it. I think if it was a downloadable game, though, it probably wouldn't have the, any of the RPG elements, so. though. Well, I mean, you should just have, like, a, at least have, like, a trial or something online, so you can try it out. Yeah, I guess. I mean, because it's not graphically, like, a retail game. Or, it seemed like, mechanically, it would be, like, a retail game. And it's just very monotonous, so... You know, it seems like a typical downloadable arcade game, or PSN game. Even yeah, but I think, I think it... Because Earth, the, the first Earth Defense Force is sort of like a, one of those cult classic things. It's like no one really Trinity. thinks it's a good game, but everyone likes it so much that they made a second one. And just, I think they just, just like pretty Alice. much did, made the same. They pretty much made it the same game, just added a whole bunch of stuff to it. So I think that's why it's not like a top tier game. But I mean, it's fun though. It's, that's why just why it's just like Alice. Right? Yeah. It's not the great game, but it's cult classic. Kind of. Yeah, everyone likes it. So. Yeah, I don't know. What's our rating system? Oh, okay, yeah. I already forgot the rating system. Yeah, we okay, came up with a new so, rating system. So we're, <laughs> we're rating it out of 5. It's kind of a little confusing. You should be able to kind of get it though once they go through it. Um, so uh, 1 star is rotten. Kind of going like with the fruit. So 1 star is a rotten fruit. Uh, 2 is bruised. Bruised fruit. Like it's, it's like edible, but you don't really enjoy it. Um, <laughs> 3, is, 3 is average, so it's just like... Yeah, I ate this apple. Okay. Nothing special. Apple's an apple. Yeah. Um, Ron is pretty much self explanatory. You're pretty much like, this is gross and I'm gonna eat it. Why? So I like, throw it away. Um, four is fresh. So it's like, this is enjoyable, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this, this fruit. I mean, it's been, it's been like a it's better nice, than, nice fresh peach. Better than your fresh. average peach. Yeah. Then succulent is five. <laughs> succulent. <laughs> so um, that's so seductive. Like. Succulent. Succulent. I don't even know what that would be. Like a. Like That'd be like bonus. just like one of those most beautiful fruit you've ever seen. Like like one of those like really beautiful strawberry. The strawberry one that's like, like three like times the, the size and like yeah. redder than. Than the sun. So yeah, refreshing. and like so much juice in it and so tasty. It's just like redder than Lava's hair. It is. Sure. <laughs> that's orange. That's <laughs> orange. You look colorblind, fool. Shut up. Um, I'm very sensitive about that. Okay, you're color sensitive eyes. Color deprived, I don't know. <laughs> but never you call color it. Color deficient. Deficient, there we go. Yeah. Different. So that's our rating <laughs> system. Um, 
Well, I'll try and repeat that for the next couple of episodes, so, or even probably like every episode I'll repeat Might that. as well, before it's we still. change our ratings again. No, we're going to keep them, because this is a really because power fruit yeah, podcast. The, it's going to yeah. be about fruit. If you guys didn't catch on that, it's because we're the power fruit podcast, and it's a fruit, and it's in I regards to fruit. fruit. I okay. get it. Yeah. If you can. Okay. Um, yeah, so, how do, you, do you want to say why we rated it that way, or just want to go around? Just do a short, say. quick go over you. I'd say, uh... What was the f- number four? <laughs> fresh? Yeah, I'd say it's fresh. <laughs> fresh, yo! Um... We'll be beaten for that later. No. This I is, won't. Is, it isn't bad as you want to say. Llama? That's what I'm known for. I'm... Halfway, it's... Average, but it's got some bruises there. Oh, so it's, it's one of those ones where oh, it's, so just so like, it's just like you like cut out the bruises? Yeah. So you cut out the bruises to eat it still, but you can still eat it? Yeah. Fair enough. It's one of those w- apples that you look at and you go, I'm really hungry, I'm cutting around the bruises, I'm not going to try and think about it too or much. Or it's like the last apple in the crisper and you just want an apple. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good choice of the word crisper. Thank you for throwing that in there. Well, don't you guys have like a food crisper? Yeah. 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 No one ever knows what a crisper is, so Sarah. say it. Um, I'm going to go with average. It's... I don't think it'll really be that impressive. I mean, with friends, it'd be fun, but just by itself, it's boring and monotonous. What? I'm also going to go with average, but like one of those apples that like you're looking at and it looks good, but you turn it around and there's a worm in the other end. So, you, so you're in yeah. between average and bruised? Average and bruised. Or just average and there's like this. Bruised? Yeah. That seems more average and rotten if there's a worm inside yeah. it. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> so, so worms so only, that uh, worms only good for the, go for the good stuff. So, like, it's a good game. So. But it's got. So only worms go for the good games. So you're so. It's only the <laughs> insects of the world. So you're calling us vermin. So what you're <laughs> saying. Asian people vermin. So what you're saying is. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying the apple looks good. Yeah, but yeah. But the, <laughs> but the Iran part is the worm goes for yeah. make the good stuff go away so yes. it makes that part of the good stuff run. Yes. So then that <laughs> so, I am so <laughs> confused. Something tells me people listening to this aren't going to get our reviewing at all. Okay, no, because when you said the worm's going to go for the good stuff, so the worm to the best the good stuff rotten. I don't see how yes. this is going to help people. Okay, so no, this is not game related. Really. So the best the good the best of this game is rotten. <laughs> yes. So it's a nearly average game. Average bruised. <laughs> nearly there. average game with Done. a few problems and a few restrictions, meaning that you have to play it with friends. There. Should have been, hey. been a downloadable. Yeah, Should have been a downloadable. Yeah, and but they and they could have took away. Like, Should have been a downloadable, but it's good as a cheap buy. Yeah. So really old. Very smart of them to start it as a forty dollar price. Yeah. 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 That, that makes it easily that makes accessible it more than in the modern day market. Yeah. With, with because it is expensive to be a gamer, man. Like, how many games come out a week? And they're all 60 bucks. October is gonna hurt you. Fuck off, October, okay? Oh, I swear to God. Nice. Which is why if I'm smart. <laughs> you just watch videos. That's not smart. Yeah. That gets rid of all <laughs> the fun. Look at me, I'm gonna watch every video that comes out. You're wasting more time watching them than you are playing them. Because you don't have no, the videos to load. I really look at games and I only buy a few. And there's even more that I won't watch. Yeah? I haven't watched Batman. Yeah, I I can sell. Yeah, you're a fool. <laughs> I'm a tuck. You are a complete fool. I'm a duck. That game is unreal. <laughs> is that it for the review of Earth Defense Force? Yeah, it is. What? That's the end of the review for Earth Defense Force. Well, is there a review? Gives it an average like three. Yeah, yeah. yeah average. Yeah, it actually, average. it actually does give us like an average. Average of eh. And we don't really have a third topic for today, so. Yes, we can just talk about anything. Unless we just don't talk about anything, it's just pointless. You can talk about your feelings. Well, you have to go soon anyway, so. Well, oh, in a half hour, I have to be home. Or my other home, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. My friend's home. I know. Call my home. I, I actually hate him. You could go home and game tonight. Uh, I could. Yeah, you will. Oh, but I get the day off tomorrow. Yeah, then you game tomorrow too. I don't want a game. What you wanna do? I don't know. Game. Exactly. I have a pretty person taking me out on the town. 
Guild Wars 2. Talk about Guild Wars 2 then. Not much to talk about. I'm just waiting for it. I'm just excited about it. Yeah. Or the older public. I I'm actually don't think I'm going to get the older public anymore. Yeah, so oh. what? This is Star Wars. I don't like Star Wars. Oh, I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I'm probably still getting I'm the used for rage, Star- like I'm named 80% for Star Wars. of the internet population. Yeah. <laughs> But you shall good. burn for this. No, you're gonna Stab be frozen you. in carbon. I was just this. being a troll. I yeah, actually, yeah. actually do like Star Wars, but I'm still just, gonna get frozen. In carbon I just don't, don't want to pay, pay monthly for a game that. Well, did they give a well, price for the monthly? It's gonna be average, so probably fifteen bucks a month. Motherfuckers. Uh, I'm assuming ten to fifteen. Announced <laughs> anything out yet? And they, their community has been offering a lot of alternate ideas for how to do stuff. Well, if they did something like, I don't know. They, there's been this idea of... Hey, what's sex? <laughs> <laughs> they've been really promoting the idea instead of paying and getting like a month is that you pay and you have game time. Kind of like how they're trying no, to do game bad idea. I kind of like that idea more. It's a bad idea because you have to... You'd have to schedule everything you do because if you're doing a raid but or something you have to schedule how long you're... It's going to warn because, you yeah, but because that time though. Yeah, but still, you don't really want to be warned in the middle of a raid or something, or in the middle of a PvP battle, because what if, like, when someone important, like a, I don't know, I don't know if there's healers in that game, but... A leader. Yeah, there's healers. Yeah, a leader, a healer, what if they didn't, they forgot to renew their time or whatever, and they disconnect? I That's think just going to create a whole bunch of problems. Yeah, but I think once you get to level where you are doing raiding, you're going to be kind of prepared for that. Or what you can do is have it just charge it to your credit card. I avoid kind of credit card like things with that. Much I just avoid pay to play games. <laughs> Problem yeah, solved. I usually do too. That's why I like Guild Wars. Because it's pay to pay quality, but it's. I don't count LOL as pay to play though. Hmm? I do not count LOL as pay to play. It's not pay to play. It's how is it pay to play? Microtransaction. Pay to play. Although considering how big League of Legends is and how pricey this shit is, it's not a free to play game. It's like fucking fifteen bucks for a skin that does nothing. It there's changes been, how I look. There's been posts by people that spent like hundreds of dollars on the game and stuff like that. It's just kind of sad. No, how much for Black Ops is the fourth map pack coming out? You're going to spend hundred twenty dollars. Yeah. I've, spe- I've spent like at least I've never fifty bucks on League of Legends, pack, I think, so, so far. But I mean, I've been playing since it's released, so I mean, it's, I've gotten at least my work out of it, and I'm still playing it. I so. mean, that's like you buying the game new. Exactly, so. But they want people playing. Wow. Like, how much money have they, they dropped into that game? Yeah. Except most big guys, how much money have they dropped into Wow? So it's not that In expensive. time. Yeah. So you think about that? Okay. Well, yeah, like, one of my friends is trying to get me hooked on the freaking. Wow. The, the level 20 trial. I, I kinda, I kinda wanna like, try it. I tried it. I just wanna but try it. I'm yeah. just so it's not your type of game though. Like, Let me try it, it's free, okay? I tried it and I'm just. I'm, I'm gonna get like level 2 and then just. Like throw it's up. way too slow. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> level 2 and throw up? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Is the enemy so shitty? <laughs> it's like, it's too slow. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um. Well, I was not shitty because so many uh, people play. World of Warcraft just isn't my just, type of game. You're just really trying to blow up the internet tonight, aren't you? <laughs> hey, I'm going to get lost. I hate Star Wars. Wow, is gay. Okay, well, do you want to know what? People will come watch everything. I think, like, hey, this guy said this. Okay, I'll watch this. tell me is that Rebecca then, Black is a valuable... Yeah, she's choosing a new song out, hey? Yeah, it's terrible. What, what, is, what is it this called? This is the first time I've... It's called My Moment. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I have not heard, heard of any of her songs other than parodies. Really? So I'm fortunate. The Old Spice guy's back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, there's a new flavor of Old Spice. He has a, he, he has a mustache now. He always had a mustache. What? No, he didn't. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> he didn't he have a mustache before? No. no he has a beard, so. Whatever. He's stubble. Yeah, stubble. A he's, uh, he's trying to get casted in one of the Avengers movies. He wants He'd to be, be a perfect Nick Fury. Skin. He wants to be Luke white. Cage. Yeah. He could be Luke Cage. Yeah. He could be Luke Cage. And it sounds like he might get it, but it's going to be like a short film. That would be awesome. Well, Luke Cage doesn't play a big part, big part in Avengers. He um, he's in supposed to be one of the bigger characters. The bullet to be doesn't mean it's on B. Look at Green Green Alpha Lantern. It's one of the bigger characters in DC, and they look like fish at the bed. 
Well, that's blah, different. Blah, 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 you guys on movies. It's <laughs> oh, a different thing about being crappy movie. I think what people said it's, it's got run out. It's gonna be good. Ooh. And it turned out to be shit. It's already in like cheap theaters. And it came on what? May? <laughs> it, came on, it came on June. Didn't it come out in May? No, it came out Actually, in June. Green, green Lantern. It came out in June. Yeah. It's really in uh, Rainbow. Yeah. Yeah, but they yeah. get movies faster now. Only the bad ones. No, I they doubt, get movies I, faster. I, I doubt Harry Potter... Dude, X, 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 Eggman First Class just got there. Mm. That, was, that was released in May. That was released really, yeah, way before. Yeah. Green Lantern was. Sitting in the front seat. Sitting in the back seat. Can't make my mind. The dolphin. Which seat can I take? Oh god, we're gonna lose all our viewers. <laughs> And our special troll. guest next week, Rebecca Black. We should hey. do that. We should get her on this show. See it's yeah. some super she needs super money, but we don't have that money. Get, a, get on a Skype call no, with her and say this is the most popular show in the world yeah. for teenagers. Why haven't you heard of it? Because it's not important. No. She's not cool enough. Not cool enough to be cool. She doesn't get reception in the kitchen. Dude. No. <laughs> Okay, you were saying I'm gonna give, I'm gonna get a hate for that. That was one, that was one time. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's. Me. And we lost all our female viewers, if we ever had any. Or the guys who are pretending to be female viewers. <laughs> we had one of those in our clan. Peace. Who's a male trying to be a female? Drake. Let's see, like. No. Is he Drake or is he? Well, I'm just saying she because I know her as a she. Like oh. she wasn't. She wasn't, didn't want anyone to find out, I guess. But I think, it, like, it's not, like, it's a personal choice of hers. No. It's, like, a style, like, a lifestyle of hers. But, yeah, yeah so people are making fun of her and stuff and calling her a tranny and stuff. And, so. What's the point? I mean, Lots of drama. I'm confused. I mean, like, that's just, that's just... So she point. is a she, but she isn't a she? No, she's a guy. She's a but guy. she but lives she, as a she. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, so... No, okay, so no, I was just confused. I, mm -hmm. I don't care. There's... People should be able to do what they want. People I don't do think, what they want. Yeah. I don't think people should be hated upon for their personal choices and life. Whatever. They can do what they want. Unless it's affecting another person, like, personally. Well, it sort of did. I mean, she was sort of like, I guess you could say cyber dating one of the other guys in the clan. And the guy didn't know that it was actually a guy. So? so yeah, I guess, I guess that's Yeah, he sort of... Moral of the story, don't cyber date. <laughs> yeah, but, um... Uh, so when they went on webcam, that was cool. What? I don't think they webcam or anything. And that's not cyber. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you find out <laughs> pretty quickly. <laughs> pretty quickly. Cyber day. I sent you a picture of my. Can I penis. see your vagina? That's not a vagina. No, you just go on the internet. <laughs> Google. <laughs> find a print off a picture of a vagina. Hold up to the camera. There you go. There you go. Take it Blue waffle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen blue waffle. Yes. Don't. It. It just like we could it? link it in the <laughs> show. Oh. <laughs> Dude, no, we're not. America! I can always bet us some of the other things out there, so. Yeah, like what? Cheese taco. What? It's three guys, you know, cheese taco, three guys on the hammer, go Don't. see. <laughs> Why are you mentioning these? Now everyone's gonna look take for it. Them. Gonna take it, we're gonna take it. Take it. Like, take oh! Go oh, see the best one. <laughs> I haven't lost any of those, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to be scarred for life. <laughs> yeah, you just want to find the trick people in the clicking on the way. <laughs> meat spin? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ready to spin meat. It's, it's like a video game. It's just like a yeah. piece of it's just a piece of ham that spins around, around in the circle. Are you a piece of ham? Maybe. Okay. Oh. Oh, I don't. Oh. I don't want to see that of you. Oh, I think, we I think we're done. Yeah, this is under wraps. We, we keep going. No, I think we're, we're done. We're I'm wraps. warm. It's like 30 degrees in here. <laughs> Exaggeration? Oh yeah. It's like I'm 29 gonna, degrees in here. Figure out how to. I wonder if you delete the podcast on Podbean. Will that still stay on the site though? Why? Because I'm on more, I'm already like halfway on the limit. I only have 300 megabytes. A month? Yeah. And it updates and you get another 300 a month. Yeah. 
again. You just make a new site every time. No. <laughs> it's almost the end of the end of July. I don't know, maybe I'll just, like, I'll probably just compress this one to shit, so it's... I mean, I, the sound quality still will be fine. Should we say goodbye then? Or well, yeah. Man, if you only do goodbye! One. Just kidding. Bye. We're still here. Man, if you only do one every two weeks, I mean, it's not... Yeah, no, that'll be fine. Arc light waved like a retard because he thinks everyone can see him. They uh, can. If I believe. Man, I don't you have you get told for this on YouTube, it would just, just be me pretty much in the middle. My arm's in here. Okay. Yeah, and my face is like half in the frame mm -hmm. every once in a while. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> considering no one can know what's going on, this just seems weird because there's a whole bunch of grunting. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. Lama goes moo. Lama goes moo. Jedi goes moo. Wow, wow. Arc light goes. Shitty no, joke, dude. Man, that's kind of ironic. Lama goes moo. So I'm joking. Lama goes moo. I just realized it. It's because you're a sight. Oh, he's dancing, signing off. Oh. Lama King signing off. Jedi pointers eating your mom. Arc light silent. I'm scared. I don't want to sign off. I'm turning it off now. <laughs> don't leave me. Love the internet. Internet hates you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>